Today we're taking a look at the TP-Link RE715X Wi-Fi range extender. Depending on the size of your house, your business, or whatever type of space you're trying to provide Wi-Fi coverage for, you might find that you need a Wi-Fi extender, maybe even two. Most of the newer TP-Link routers offer wireless mesh capability utilizing TP-Link's one mesh system. If you're only looking to extend your Wi-Fi network though, you probably don't want to spend as much on a router when you only need a repeater. This wireless repeater or extender goes by the name of the AX3000 mesh. It's equipped with Wi-Fi 6 capable radios. The 5 GHz radio can operate at speeds of up to 2,402 megabits per second, while the 2.4 GHz radio can hit up to 574 megabits per second. I think for a wireless mesh repeater, that's actually pretty good speed. The AX3000 offers 160 MHz worth of bandwidth, in addition to supporting MU-MIMO and OFDMA for supported Wi-Fi clients. These technologies will help ensure that you get better connection speeds, and you can connect more clients simultaneously. So in terms of setup with your existing TP-Link router, this should be super easy. I went through the setup, it was pretty much a breeze. You can either create a new Wi-Fi network in repeater mode, which will be denoted by your original Wi-Fi network name with EXT at the end, or you can just clone the SSID. This will make joining the Wi-Fi network simpler for all of your client devices. If you don't have a TP-Link router, you can't use this, right? No, actually this extender can be used or configured to work with virtually any wireless router. The AX3000 is even capable of actually functioning as a limited feature set access point itself. You do have the option to convert this into AP mode and create Wi-Fi networks, even though the main use of this is to function as a repeater. In addition to the ability to function in AP mode, the AX3000 mesh repeater also features a wired Ethernet port. This port is actually pretty handy. A lot of times, people will install Wi-Fi range extenders either on the main floor or potentially the second floor, depending on what the space looks like. You can actually use the Ethernet port on the range extender to connect something like a smart TV, a game console, or even a PC to your wireless network. Given that the AX3000 is a wireless mesh repeater, these features are actually pretty neat. I don't see these very often, and I definitely think it increases the utility for the AX3000. Like all of the modern TP-Link equipment, this device can be managed locally, meaning no cloud integration or app control is required. You do, however, have the option to control this device in the TP-Link app. It's called Tether. You can also register this device into your TP-Link cloud account. Now that we talked a little bit about the device, in terms of how good the range extension is, well, it's always pretty hard to give people a recommendation for how much extra Wi-Fi coverage they're going to get because every space is different, both physically and in terms of interference. In my setup, I have my main TP-Link Archer AX80 configured and deployed in my basement. Having my AX80 in the basement gives me the best coverage inside of my house and the garage. The downside? Well, the downside is that the Wi-Fi signal in my backyard suffers due to the wireless router being in my basement. When I'm out back working on the lawn, or if I'm trying to stream a movie from my Plex to my projector setup, sometimes I lose connection, and sometimes I have buffering issues from the unstable Wi-Fi connection. After getting the AX3000 mesh repeater set up though, I'm not having any more issues with streaming movies from Plex. I haven't really had any issues with connections dropping, and when I measured, the bandwidth rates are pretty good. My backyard isn't huge, but having a good Wi-Fi signal all the way to the edge of the backyard is very cool, as well as very functional. This is super handy, especially if I ever install one of those battery-powered Wi-Fi enabled outdoor cameras. TP-Link actually sells a couple of those, and it's something I've thought about. In addition to all of the connection and stability benefits for streaming, I'd be able to monitor my outdoor space. I definitely think this would be handy at nighttime and while I'm on vacation. The performance has been quite good over the last few weeks. Like I said, the speeds I'm getting are much higher on my devices outside of my house. I've done a couple of file transfers just to test it. Sometimes I can actually get up to 7 or 800 megabits per second outside. When decent sized file transfers used to be something I would have to go inside in order to complete. I really like the feature set that's offered with the AX3000 mesh repeater. In addition to great performance, this feature set really makes the TP-Link AX3000 mesh worth the money in my opinion. 
with the AX3000 having one mesh support, this really makes adding the repeater to any of your networks super easy. The repeater supports local administration and has that extra ethernet port for additional connectivity. You can even run the repeater in access point mode. For about a hundred bucks, this is quite handy to have. If you're looking for a repeater, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the AX3000 mesh. If you like this one, hit that thumbs up button and get subscribed to the channel for more gaming, home lab, and tech videos.